I'm doing my makeup because I have nothing to do. I also need to take my Invisalign out because I don't like how I sound with it. So we're gonna take it out. I also got my hair redone. So it's back to darker because it faded a little bit. Um, so I just got it. Okay, I need to take this out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I got my hair done again. It's literally, it's not darker, it's just the same color that I had before, but it faded a little bit, so that's why it looks like this. Um, oh, also guys, I got a new piercing. Ow, it hurts so bad, but it's really cool. I got the hoop in here, like that, and it didn't hurt. I obviously didn't do it myself because I would literally um, probably break my ear somehow because that's like inside my ear. But I think it looks pretty cool. It really hurts right now, but um, that's okay. But I'm gonna do my makeup because I have nothing else to do. So, how is everyone? Love your shirt. This is Dakota's shirt. I don't know where it's from. It looks painful. Honestly, it didn't hurt getting it done. It was just like the crunch, like listening to the crunch, it hurt, like it just made me so scared. Um, Cause it was done with a needle, obviously. Cause you can't really put a piercing gun in your ear like that. But I think it's really cool. It's just like gonna take forever to heal, which is like, really annoying but people are getting deleted why i don't understand that is it because they think you're impersonating or whatever i'm sorry i'll try and refollow as many of you as i can do you recommend the bubble skincare i want to order some but i live in the uk so it's expensive but i really want it if Maisie's here hi Maisie. um i do recommend it actually <laughs> Um, I say this in like every live that I do. Um, I'm not like, I wouldn't be um, supporting a brand if I didn't think it was good. Um, and I genuinely really, really like it. Sorry, I'm like finding eye cream because my eyes are really dry underneath. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's it makes my skin really nice. I mean, right now, my skin is not that good, but that's just because I've been really bad at my skincare recently. Um, but yeah, I'm usually I'm usually really good. But so just ignore what my skin looks like right now. Also, I saw this video that I feel like would be really funny to do. Um, if I did my makeup routine, would you guys want to see Dakota? do my um, voiceover for it. Cause I've seen that so many times and it's like kind of an older video, but someone recently did it. And I was like, I feel like that would be such a funny video because I feel like he doesn't really know anything about makeup. So let me know if you would want to see that. I feel like it would be really funny. Yes. I feel like that would be so funny. And he's just, he's just funny, so. <laughs> um. Do you miss Mal, hi Grace. Do you miss Mally? Yes, I miss Malibu so much. Have you named your car yet? No. I literally haven't, like I'm not driving it because I don't have my license yet. I could have my license right now, but um, I can't go home to Pittsburgh. Can't talk right now. I can't go home to Pittsburgh to get it. So I'm just like, okay, why? You know, it's just annoying because I want to get my license, but I can't. And there's really no point. I don't go anywhere. I don't leave. So I don't know why I would need it. You should go to Cancun. I am not going on vacation during this time. 
Um, I, hold on. Ugh, I need to like work and stuff. So I'm staying home, I'm being safe. And I also can't go home because um, my stepdad is in Pittsburgh and obviously I don't want him to get sick. That's the main reason why he's not out here. So I'm being very safe. I'm not going anywhere like, so yeah. What does it say on your sweatpants? These are shorts. I don't know what it says. Grizzly? I don't know. Ugh. I literally like do my makeup every day just to feel good about myself and then I take it off and go to sleep. these comments can you post a workout routine i don't really work out <laughs> um i'm gonna start though i've been going i went to pilates once um which it's like kind of hard <laughs> kind of really i was literally dying but um yeah i went to pilates once but obviously it's hard to go during this time because like you have to get tested before you do it. So I hate this angle right now. I feel like I need to like sit down here. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. <laughs> How's Maddie doing? She's good. I don't even know what she's doing right now. Honestly, I also don't want to stand up while I do my makeup. I literally hate standing up while I do my makeup, but I have to because my mirror is up there. If you could be named anything, what would you be? I don't know, honestly. Um. That's a hard one, actually. I just can't really see myself with any other name. Um, there's definitely names that I like more than my name, but I can't really, can't really think of one right now. <laughs> How many kids do you want in your future? Like three. Nice green bottle, thanks. <laughs> Um, yeah, probably, probably three. Ugh, this lighting is so bad. I need to fix it. I need to fix it. Ken suits you. I definitely think Ken suits me. So, okay, well that's not gonna, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna open these ones. See if that helps anything. better, I guess. I don't know why my foundation looks really pale right now, but we need to get the use Kenzie user Ken's. I honestly Kenzie is like my music name, so I'm gonna keep that, but people do call me Ken's or Kenny, but I'm gonna keep Kenzie. Where are you going? Nowhere. <laughs> um, someone said, what's your favorite mascara? My favorite two mascaras are this one, Roller Lash by Benefit, or
this one by Ilya. Um, like that. Literally don't stay in Taylor's shirt. I'll try not to. I mean, he never watches my lives anymore, so he won't even know. Um, this is so much work. I have to bring everything down here, but your hair looks so silky. Thank you. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Can't believe you're almost seventeen. Uh, kind of. My birthday's in a few months, but I guess you can say almost, yeah. I am excited, but the only thing I just wish I had more time because I don't have my license and that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> when you're literally, I probably won't even get it until I'm like 18, I just know it, but I wish I had it. Show your side profile. No. Kenzie, do you feel comfortable with the stuff I post? I literally don't want to post any, don't want to, don't want any problems. No? Your birthday was the best day for a fandom. I cried all day. Why? Why did you cry all day? How do you say my name? Ingrid, I think. That's how you say it. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Oh, hi. June 4th, Kenzie Ziegler Day, to be honest. Hey. I love you guys. I definitely feel very special on my birthday. If I was on social media, I feel like I would hate birthdays, but you guys honestly make me the cutest edits for my birthday. It's so cute. And like, I just love it. I feel very special on my birthday. I feel very special every day. All right, we're gonna attempt to contour my nose. Okay. She talked me into letting you foster a puppy. Guys, I've been trying for so long. You have no idea. I've been like, mom, I really think I should get a dog. I'm in quarantine. This is the perfect time for me to train a dog. You know, it's, it's like I'm home, so I have time. And she's like, we can't, we can't have a dog. And I'm like, I didn't say you would have a dog. I said, I would have a dog. And she's like, you don't know how to take care of a dog. And I'm like, okay, first of all, she says that because I got Malibu when I was maybe 10. Could I really take care of a dog when I was 10 by myself? When I had dance every single day, I had school every single day. I was filming a TV show. I didn't even want, like I wanted a dog, but I didn't even get myself the dog. Like, she didn't even get me the dog. So I don't know how I could have taken care of a dog when I was 10 by myself. Um, and Malibu just, Malibu, she doesn't like me very much. Well, she does, but she likes, she likes my mom more. And I can't get a cat because um, my stepdad's allergic, so. But when I move out, I'm definitely getting a cat. I do not. I want a dog and a cat. Um, but yeah, I I genuinely think, what? I genuinely think I could take care of a dog right now because I literally have nothing to do other than Zoom sessions and that's literally on Zoom in my room. So I think we should all, I think I need to make a PowerPoint. 
That's a good idea. I think I should make a PowerPoint of why I deserve to get a dog. Because she does always say that I'm a great kid. So, I think in return of me being the most amazing kid in the world, <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm just saying, I think I deserve a dog. But yes, everyone's saying that I should get a cat. I am getting a cat when I move out. So if you guys want to help me make a really nice PowerPoint on why I deserve a dog, I think that would be really amazing. Um, so just let me know. Because genuinely, I think I deserve it. Maddie got to have a dog. And she's literally, I'm more of a dog person than she is. I'm more of an animal person than she is. So. I just, oh my god. I would be so happy if I had a puppy. I want to cry. I would literally be so happy. Or we just, I don't know. Like, what should we do? Honestly, just come home with a dog and be like, surprise. She would, I think, murder me. Like, I genuinely think she would kill me. Um, because, okay, what I told Maddie to do is like, I was like, listen, if you get me a dog and give it to me, I don't think mom could say no because like you're giving it to me. That's like what I tell people. I'm like, if you give me, if I buy the dog and you just give it to me, then she can't really say no. You know, like I feel like that would be disrespectful. You're like, well, someone got you a dog, like you can't give it away. Um, big or small dog. I definitely would want a small dog right now because obviously if I'm like going to the studio and I want to bring a dog, um, I could have a little studio dog, which would be really nice because obviously a big dog is harder to take care of and their poops are bigger. So um, I definitely think I would want a small dog right now. But I could, de I could definitely do it. Get Dakota to give you one. Hmm. Get a dog and make Mel attached. Okay, but the problem is when she gets attached to a dog, then it becomes her dog, you know? And that can't happen this time. So. Your mom would fall in love with the animal. I know, I think that's why she's like, we can't. Because, oh, I literally can't talk. I think that's why she literally is like, no, we can't foster a dog because she knows that she will not be able to say no because we fostered Boots. And my sister was like, we, ha we have to get Boots. We have to get Boots because we're so obsessed with him. And my mom was like, I don't think we should. Like, we can only foster it. And so we got Boots. And then we all fell in love with Boots. And that's what happened. But it's different because she moved out. So I, I understand, but. Wait, don't you already have a dog? Boots is Maddie's dog doesn't live here, and Malibu is my other dog, but she is in Pittsburgh, so we don't have, hi Bella, oh my god, you're so pretty, um, so yeah, we don't have, we don't have a dog here, um, which really sucks, because I feel like a house just feels more homey when you have an animal in it, I mean, we do have bunnies, which is nice, but my mom, And I think that's why she's like, we don't need any more animals because she's like so obsessed with them that she just feels like we don't need one. But I am, I am determined this year to get a dog. And I, I like, I literally send pictures to Dakota of like dogs and he's like, oh cute. And I'm like, can you get like, can you be like more excited about it? Like. I just, well, I just literally would die, but whatever, no one cares. What happened to Cheeks and Cowgirl? Oh, so I had hamsters, if you guys didn't know. They were, like, obviously I loved my hamsters to death, but they were super hard to take care of and they smelt really bad and made our house smell bad and... Like, it was really, it was really sad, but 
So we had to, we gave them to So, we gave them to him, and now they're literally obsessed with them, and it's not because I didn't love my hamsters. It was just like, it really, it was hard to take care of them because it just smelled over our whole house, and it was just really, it was really hard to, you know, clean their cage every day. And like, they would want to run around, and of course, like, are you putting highlight on your lips? No, this is like a, it's like a glossy pop, like face and eye gloss. So really it's just like gloss <laughs> for your face and lips and eyes. Um, but yeah, so everyone was like, you're not taking care of your hamsters. Like, cause you gave them away. And I was like, I didn't give them away because I hated them. I just like felt like I wasn't giving them the love that they needed because like, they obviously don't want to stay in their cage all day. And we have like so many people at our house. We had so many people at our house, like constantly. I don't want to like lose them or like, cause I wanted them to run around. We got like a playpen for them to run around, <laughs> which is nice. Um, but yeah, so I gave, we gave them to our cleaning lady's son and he absolutely loves them. So before anyone says I don't take care of my pa my pets, don't ever, you know? Is Dylan still alive though? Yeah, he, Dylan's we thought was like not okay, but he's just, we took him to the vet and everything and they were just like, he just is hyper, he just has a personality and we were like, oh. Okay, that worked. Do you like cats? I love cats. I used to have a kitten. If you guys don't remember, I had a kitten. If you're like from the original, oh my, my nose is so itchy. If you guys are from my original Kenzie, like a long time ago, I used to have a kitten and his name was Peanut. And I loved him. He would literally like, would suck on my lip because they thought I was, he thought I was his parent. <laughs> like that was my cat, which was really nice. He, he was the sweetest cat ever, like literally ever. And we were living in apartments for dance moms so we could have them, but Greg, my stepdad was allergic. So we were just like, we're just gonna put him in one of the other girls' rooms while he comes because we love this kitten so much. And then we had to move again. And we were just like, okay, Greg is living with us now. We can't have a kitten. So we had to, we gave him to our assistant because she was really close with the cat. And oh my God. Literally, I love that cat so much. I just, I miss that kitten. The kitten would literally curl up in my neck and just sleep in my neck. It was the sweetest thing ever. Like, oh my God. I have never like been so close with an animal like that where it would like sleep on me. And which the place we got it. So my, I don't know why I'm just talking about pets the entire time, like this whole life, but um, I remember I was talking to my makeup artist at, for Dance Moms and I was like, I literally want a cat so bad. And then Kendall was like, yeah, me too. And so she took us to go get kittens, like in the middle, like we just found um, these people that were selling cats and we went to their um, place and it was like a really sketchy, like 
it was not okay and the kittens like i just felt really bad for them because they didn't look like they were getting taken care of properly and so i was like oh my god i need i need to get one of them because and i was young i was like i just feel so bad like they look so they just look awful like they don't look happy and so i got i got a little kitten Got a little cute kitten, and then I had to give it away, but he was literally, I fell in, like, I didn't like cats before that, and then I fell in love with kittens, so, yes. <laughs> And by the way, they were not expensive at all. They were literally like 30 bucks, which is like crazy for buying an animal. I don't know. But. But yeah, I think we should make a PowerPoint. <laughs> Benna, hi. Um, I definitely think we should make a PowerPoint so we can get my mom to let me get a dog. So that is our plan, everyone. Hi, Benna. I miss you so much. I literally miss you so much. Guys, I'm getting way better at eyeliner, by the way. Like, that took two seconds, and that is, like, crazy for me because if no one remembers the last few days ago, um, like, a few weeks ago, where I literally, like, it took me so long, but, like, took two seconds just then, which it doesn't look, like, the best, like, obviously, but... I think it looks pretty good for, okay, well this one is uneven, so I think I spoke too soon. But what's nice about eyeshadow is you can so. You're getting better at makeup, thanks guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, well this one now needs to go out a little more. And then I kind of just take my finger and like go like that and brush it away so it has like a cleaner point. You know what I mean? Like that. And that took two seconds, so. Do you like Harry Styles? Um, yes. I love Harry Styles. Yeah, it looks so good. You were literally my makeup artist last time, so I thank you so much. And literally, like, it's so funny. Maddie's like, I cannot believe you can do your makeup and hair by yourself now. Because literally, I would make her do my hair every single day. I'd make her do my makeup every single day because I genuinely couldn't do it to save my life. And it was like, we would get in so many fights over it because like, I was like, I, I can't do it. I wish I could, but like, I can't. And then we would get, like, we would hate each other because she would just not want to do it. So then I had to learn by myself and I'm pretty proud of myself for how far I've come because I literally sucked. I literally sucked at makeup. So, um, what do I wanna do? Your voice is putting me to sleep. What? Is my voice calming? I can hear my mom's talking to the bunnies right now. <sighs> All right, which mascara should I use today? 
Which one do you guys want to see? Oh, shoot. I'm also, like, if you can tell, I'm putting a lot of setting spray on my face right now because I look super dry. It doesn't look like it, but I promise it does. So I'm kind of just... comments of benefit okay this one i think makes my lashes look more voluminous so and also like obviously if you curl your lashes with this it makes it look way better but i lost my eyelash curler so I have to deal with my lashes, but honestly, my lashes are pretty long anyways, so I don't really need to curl them, but when I do curl them, they literally go up to my eyebrow. <laughs> my mascara face is so bad, by the way, I'm sorry. Missy Sage, <laughs> I literally saw your comment in my peripheral while I was doing my eyelashes. <laughs> um, but how I like try and curl my lashes, because obviously I can't, I go like this and I take it and I kind of just like blink to make them curl up and yeah I just like go underneath what mascara is that it is the benefit roller lash and yeah the vampire diaries or teen wolf I haven't seen teen wolf um, so Vampire Diaries, but this is the makeup look done, which looks a little weird right now because the lighting is kind of bad, but here, let's see if you can see it now. There we go. Oh, so yeah. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys while I was doing my makeup because I have nothing else to do. But I love you guys very much. I'm going to go. But I have mascara under my eyes.